Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We're back. Fresh two inches of snow. It's uh, February. I don't know what this is. It's February. Um, it's about time. Um, it's time to start. Uh, it's time for me to start talking about this event. We are about six months out from the new inaugural, whatever you want to call it, 2024 BOP Heartland Nationals. Kearney Raceway Park, Kearney, Nebraska. August 23rd, 4th, 23rd is a Friday, 24th is Saturday, that's our race day. And the 25th, I believe, is gonna be a Wally race day uh, for the track again. It's gonna be, for those of you that don't know, it's gonna be really similar to what we did with the uh, Great Plains Buick Challenge. We're just adding the Oldsmobile and the Pontiac folks this year. Um, obviously I've been in talks with Joe and the board and everybody involved there, Trav, Don, all of them. And, uh, I've got some information I'm going to forward to y'all tonight. I've got a dinner date with a short person, a tiny human in my life. So I'm going to make this short, make it, make it short, sweet, get some information out there for y'all to pass the word, start talking about it. I know we just got about two inches of snow last night, but that doesn't, that doesn't uh, take away from the fact that race season is right around the corner. Uh, swap meet is coming up for, in Minden f uh, with the track and the track certification weekend. And it won't be very long and we're going to be back on track, hopefully. So information I've got for y'all now uh, to get this party started, let's say. Uh, Friday, gates will be open that afternoon. I'll be there early like I always am for setup, trailer drop, all that good stuff. Uh, for the for the challenge, we used to do barbecue, something like that, 7 o'clock-ish, around there. I have mentioned to several of y'all about trying to get a Friday test and tune. I'm not going to call anybody out by name, but I've had several people ask me about it. Um to, to make it a more full weekend for them if they were to make a long pull. Uh, we're still trying. Um, the biggest thing with that is uh, ambulance, uh, EMTs, emergency crews. And in Kansas, Nebraska, Colorado, everywhere in the United States, uh, end of August, that's right around football season. So to be honest, uh, we're kind of waiting to see what the football schedule is going to be to see if an ambulance crew will be available for us on Friday night at the track if we can if we can pull it off. If uh, if we can pull it off, obviously that's going to ramp up uh, a lot of things. Um, the this isn't a this isn't a sole run facility. Everybody that works here uh, has day jobs, um, so we've got to be we've got to be lenient with them. Obviously, it's their track, but uh, we're, we'll still. I'm still working on it. I, obviously, I'm not going to make any promises, but it has not left my mind. We we are going to try, even if it's a two or three hour deal. You know, it's still testing. We can run a jackpot race or something. Uh, Saturday's our race day. New this year, we've always run, done an all run thing for the uh, Great Plains Challenge. New for us, we're going to have three classes. Uh, I've thought about it, thought about it, talked to, talked to guys about it. Um, we're going to try and run three separate classes. Uh, excuse me. I don't know what you want to call them. Bracket one, two, and three. Bracket one will, what I'm looking at is probably a pro, super pro combination type of cars and speed ET. Uh, quarter mile deal. Bracket two would be a sportsman, I think somebody's here, would be a sportsman street type of class. Um, and well, bracket three, group three, class three, whatever you want to call it, is a half breed class. And again, I'm not going to call anybody out by name, but you know who you are, big guy. Um, <laughs> if you've got any combination We've decided that it's it's it the top two classes. It's a Bu Buick Olds Pontiac event. It's you're going to be Buick bodied, Buick powered, Olds bodied, Olds powered, Pontiac bodied, Pontiac powered for the top two classes. You have to be pure, if you will. 
the half breed class is a, it's going to be exactly that. You got a Pontiac with a big block Chevy in it. That's your class. You've got a Buick with a Cadillac in it. That's your class. Um, you've got a Buick with a Pontiac in it. That's your class. The new GTO has an LS in it. That's a half breed. That's the way it's going to be. It's just the way it is. Uh, that's going to eliminate, obviously, and I'm sure somebody will bring it up. But, yeah, factory produced. They build a Trans Am with a Buick motor. I don't care. They build a GTO with the Chevy, the LS uh, combination. Don't care. For this year, it's the top two classes are going to be more of a pure blood type, pure bread type of deal. It's just the way it is. Um, I don't care. I don't care. If you've got a 455 Buick and a 69 Pontiac, that's a half breed. You're over there. Uh, anything that isn't, and we all know what that means. Um, uh, anything that isn't again, pure, um, it's going to go in that half breed class. Um, also this year, can't believe it didn't do it. Um, a little bit of a surprise to me, communications, talks, visiting, for one more year, the track should have raised our entry fees for for us Buick guys that have been there. He should have raised, they should have raised our entry fees last year for sure, two years ago, minimum. Uh, but because this is an inaugural event and we're going to try and grow this, we're going to stay with the entry fee. Car and driver is 60 bucks for this deal. It doesn't matter what class you're in. It's all the same. Uh, the track is, the track guys, they've, Talk to Joe. They've agreed. Nicole had her, well, out of a dollar, her $27.75 worth in. Um, we're going to we're gonna leave it even. It's going to be 60 bucks car and driver this year again. Uh, but I also told Joe, out of appreciation, next year, it's going to go up. If you want to look a year in advance, it just, it has to. The economy... The way, the way everything is going right now, and you all understand that, that's the way it's going to be. Uh, but for this year, uh, Saturday, race day, 60 bucks for all three classes. The classes all cost you the same to get in. I will more than likely. I need to talk to Trav a little bit more and Joe and uh, a couple other people that are in behind the scenes. And we need to, pro what I'll probably do is come up with an ET break, a quarter mile ET break between number class one and class two. I don't know. I guess if you wanted to post, once you see this, um, if you wanted to post your opinion, sure, throw it out there. Um, I don't know, 12 0, 12 50, 13 flat. Where, where's that? Um, that's where I'm at between 12 0 and 13, somewhere in there. Um, uh, throw your opinion out there. Let me know what you think. Uh, I, we, I don't know what kind of caliber caliber of cars those are going to be here. How many is going to make up everything? This is all new to us. So throw your opinion up there. Let me know what you think. Um, as of now, racing for, what are we racing for? How much are you racing for? If you care about money, okay. I guess if you care about money, that's fine. Uh, but I can't answer that question. Um, as obviously I hope you understand that we are still, we are constantly in a sponsorship hunt for this. And I have some that I'm going to talk about now that have already told me, no, I'm back. They're on board. They're ready to pull the trigger. Um, in fact, let's get down that here first. Uh, first, let's talk about Harold Rolls. Steve, you, you know about Harold, <laughs> um, Petersburg, Ontario, Canada, Buick guy. Uh, for three years, I believe it was, I toted, Harold donated a, I don't know, two, three, four hundred dollar toolkit, piece toolkit to us for a perfect reaction time. It's back. He, as soon as the event was over last year, here, I don't know when it was, to tell you the truth, he got a hold of me. He's going to do it again. Throw me a time slip with three O's. Time trials, eliminations, whenever it is. Anybody, Buick, Olds, Pontiac, half breed, don't care what you are. You throw me a time slip with three O's. The first perfect slip I see is going to leave with Harold's toolkit as a prize. I don't care when it happens, just like we've always done with the Buick deal. 
don't care. Three O's, first one to do it. Time the time slips are time stamped. If the all happen to somebody happen to do it in the same round of qualifying, whatever, uh, first one to do it is leaving with toolkit. Yep, period. Uh, we will uh, we will have our distance traveled award. Whoever comes the longest distance to this event, uh, I'm gonna get you some money. I'm gonna get you some gas money or food or a sandwich or something. That we're gonna give you some money for you making the trip. Uh, also, tree chopper award for the uh, the old Pontiac guys that don't know. Randy Messenger came up with this. He's on the list. Southwest Feeders. He's a sponsor. He came up with this. I don't know, 136 years ago. Best reaction time during eliminations is going to get you a hundred bill, hundred dollar bill, and it's going to get you an axe that I need to order. I have plenty of time to order it, get it finished, get it lettered, get it. It's a trophy. Um, <clears throat> tree chopper best reaction time during eliminations on race day get you a hundred bucks and the axe um i really think for now that's about it other than telling you i got uh southwest feeders uh is back for sponsors this these are the list of the sponsors the short list i haven't even really tried yet y'all i'm sorry i'm late and i feel bad about this but uh, Travis got a couple on here. Um, Southwest Feeders is back. Randy's sponsor. Johnson Body Shop, St. Francis, Kansas. Ben's Machine Shop in Hayes. Worth racing in Hayes. Uh, from what Travis told me, they're both Pontiac crew. Uh, Restore Waterproofing, Topeka, Wichita, Kansas City. That's Dave. He's back. Talked to him, I don't know, a couple days ago. Atwood Liquor, Larry Aldridge, Home of Little Joe. Hmm. Uh, he's back. Talked to Larry this afternoon. And John Proviance in Goodland, Kansas. Goodland Machine. John and Dustin and uh, Jake. And, uh, I can't remember them all. They do They do my machine work. Um, Talked to John this afternoon. He's back. They're back. Um, obviously, our goal is to pay as good as possible uh, to make it a desirable event. Uh, but... I really don't know any of my guys. Any, I don't know any of the Buick people that come for the money. They come for the experience. They come for the event. They come to see their friends and race. It, uh, Steve, to quote you, I didn't come to race. These are my friends. <laughs> That's we just we're coming to see our friends and we're going to throw a drag race in on top of it. So. Uh, really, that's that's about it. Just a short video. I want to get the ball rolling on this. Um, uh, Trav, if you're watching, I know you are. I know you will. Uh, get ready. It's time for us to go to work. Chris, Travis, uh, Joe, I'm sure your phone will blow up. And if you don't answer, Nicole, you've been warned. I'm going to text you. Uh, <laughs> no, not really. Um, you still scare me a little bit. Uh, <laughs> um it's time. We're getting ready. We're getting. I'm getting fired up. I'm getting ready. Even with two inches of snow on the ground, no worries, no fear. Cars tore apart, flat cam. Got to fix that. It'll get fixed. Plan on racing a lot this summer. Um, I hope y'all are excited. It's something new. Haven't done this before. As far as I know, there's. Uh, I don't even know where the closest BOP event is. Illinois, Ohio, somewhere. I don't know anybody. I don't know any. I don't know any in the in the central states here. Um, myself, but I don't know. So that's about it. Pass the words, tell your friend, share the video, um, all that good stuff. I will keep, uh, I'll keep the videos coming up here. Um, if you want to like, subscribe, all that, hit the bell, whatever. I don't know, whatever the YouTube thing is. Um, thumbs up and subscribe and you know, and notifications or something. You'll get notified, um, when we put up a video. So that's it. One more time, Harold. Rolls, uh, Southwest Feeders, Johnson Body Shop, Ben's Machine, Worth Racing, Restore Weather, Restore and Waterproofing, Atwood Liquor, Goodland Machine. On the list, already, already, our sponsors are back. Uh, there will be more to follow, I am quite sure. I hope you're looking forward to it, and I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs>